Hey guys, this is the YouTube version uh, of my show. I don't love the idea of even putting it out like this, but I'm going to use YouTube to stay in touch with you guys from now on. That means this version is missing all the stories about coronavirus, insurrection, your Second Amendment rights, and more. All of these, of course, are usually my most honest, brutal, and important stories. Anyway, you can uh, get the entire unfiltered and uncensored show for free by going to thecomicsgym.com or nickdip.com. It's still free on both of these sites, too. Uh, and if you want extra content each day, join at patreon.com or thecomicsgym.com for the daily Encore show. Also, while you're uh, on these sites, please make a contribution to keep this show free and check out my tour dates. I'll be in Phoenix, uh, Raleigh, New York, and Texas in the up and coming months. Remember, uh, you guys keep thinking it, I'll keep saying it, and please enjoy and please share today's episode. Talk to you soon. Oh yeah, Monday morning again. How are you folks? Welcome to the big show on a Monday, state of Georgia. How you is? Hey, Chris Rock texted me back yesterday. <laughs> I texted him on, on a Saturday, I think, or whatever. And just said, uh, you know, I said, I, I hate the guy, I'm furious. And uh, I said, you handled it well, loved you, man. And he wrote back, yeah, crazy something, but uh, love you too. So I have a black guy that loves me. What do you think of that? I'm kind of bigger than mine. Huh? You're damn right. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I told him to do an Italian stuff. I sent them pictures of my black guy and the woman, that he, but he didn't respond to that. <laughs> but I said, do what I'm going to do. It's been about five years since that girl hit me. I know where they live. I know where the father's business is. I'm just saying. There's a saying I think the Italians came up with. I maybe it was Shakespeare. I don't know. But revenge is a... Uh, a dish best served cold. I want that on my headstone. <laughs> Either that or he was a fucking asshole. Both. Both. <laughs> he was a real douche. <laughs> hey, uh, made the chicken enchiladas last night again. Because, you know, I want to get ripped. <laughs> Jesus Christ almighty. A rat ran up my nighty. I, I, I saw what we had tomatillos left, and we had a, had a giant onion and all the other shit, and six tortillas. Bing, bang, ting, ow. Oh, my God. I have to stop. I got to quit cooking for like six months to see if this phase comes down to a size 19. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what time do we? How, how old's the show? <laughs> Five minutes. Five, okay, so we started at 10 of. All right. Let me write that down. How you doing, folks? I'll be right with you. It's a very professional show, let me tell you. I uh, hope to see you guys this weekend. At, uh, uh, I have to correct myself. Like an idiot all week. Was I... Did I imagine... Did it say Foxwood on the... Comics. Yeah, but... Oh, that's all it said. It, it, it's Mohegan's son, which I, I confused the two. I, there are two casinos in Connecticut. Oh, is one of them technically in Massachusetts? I don't know. <laughs> Fucking Indians. Um... <laughs> Anyways, I was saying, uh, Fox, it's not. It's Mohegan Sun this Thursday, Friday, Saturday night. Uh, great club comics. It's, I've done it before. See, that's why I'm in a semi-good mode. I got my usual opener, so I know it's coming before me. Uh, I made it nice money last time I was there. Um, had a guy from the military and his girlfriend walk out of me. They were lefties. Yeah, I said, uh, so I told him to fuck himself, but I did the... Um, yeah, they were like defending, they hated Trump and 
I brought up something about gays in the middle. I, 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 you know, I serve with gays in the middle. I go, fine. Fine. And you know what else you did? You defended my right to say what I just said. So why the fuck are you leaving? And the gay people I served who would, would agree with you. Would agree with me? Yeah. Would they? Yeah, they, uh, well, yeah the ones I served with would, yeah. What do you mean? What would they agree on? What you just said, that, that we fought for your right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I had a bit that I actually did on Letterman about gay people serving in the Army. And uh, I said, I, uh, you know, not, I, I said, I don't want them serving in the Army, not because they, you know, I hate gay people. I just, I just think, I don't think six soldiers be blown up because Pam's grenade landed a, a foot from the bunker. <laughs> oh, Dave's, I can't remember the joke. <laughs> By the way, it rocked the house. Yeah, it was one of those. Dave's over there going, hmm, this is before I knew Dave was a raging lib. Anyways, let's get on with this stupid thing. Uh, let's touch on the war since, I mean, come on. It, it, it's still going on, people being slaughtered. War crimes are propaganda is the headline. The lifeless bodies of uh, at least 20 civilian men lie in a single street in the town of Bucha near the Ukrainian capital. Some lie face down on the pavement while others are collapsed on their backs, mouths open in a tragic testament to the horrors of Russian occupation. The hands of one man are tied behind his back with a piece of uh, white cloth. Oi. I've turned out that's downtown Newark. <laughs> Detroit. Or Detroit. Or Oakland. O Oakland. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. So anyways, I tend to, I'm starting to believe this. I, but I still, I'm puzzled by Zelensky giving these press conferences <laughs> all cleaned up and nice camera and lighting. I don't, something tells me he's at NBC right off the... I don't know. The shocking images of the carnage in Abucha were captured by Agent France Presse on Saturday, the same day Ukraine declared the town liberated from Russian troops. Accounts of alleged Russian atrocities are emerging as it forces retreat from areas near Kyiv following a failed bid to encircle the capital. What exactly leads you to believe the Soviets were involved? Because they're filthy. The town of Bucha has endured five weeks of near-constant firefights. Now officials and human rights groups are blaming the civilian deaths on the departed Russian forces. That one doesn't work. All right. Corpses of executed people still line the uh, Yabluska Street in Bucha. Their hands are tied behind their backs with white civilian rags. Those are the ones they were waving to say, we surrender, and they still kill them, if you want to believe it. They were shot in the back of their heads, so you can imagine what kind of lawlessness they perpetrated here. Bucha Mayor Anatoly Fedoruk told Reuters on Saturday. There he is. Uh, in a video address Sunday after the reports of Bucha, Ukrainian President Zelensky called for an end of Russian war crimes, quote, the world has already seen many war crimes at different times on different continents, but it is time to do everything possible to make the war crimes of the Russian military the last manifestation of such evil on earth, he said. They are pretty fucking evil. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. Putin. But somebody will say that about him. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Uh, so I don't know. <sighs> the guy was like a comic. He was a fucking comedic actor. <laughs> Imagine Tony Randall calling shots in World War II. <laughs> Anybody get that? Zelensky called on Russian leaders to be held accountable for the actions of the nation's military. Yeah. Just like, uh, you know, war crimes, that means you're going to hang. Used to. Now it probably means... Uh, Probation. <laughs> the, whole, the whole world probably has a legal system. America to be out in a week. But uh, yeah, pretty fucking. Speaking of carnage, I don't know what place is more dangerous right now, Kiev or uh, any inner city uh, in this country. Not even inner city. Uh, did, did you hear about the shooting? Dallas Field Party concert. What is that? So here's my take on this. Um, was, uh, want to put the word hip hop in there? Field concert, and it was, it was hip-hop outdoors, I'm guessing. They weren't listening to classical, I'm guessing, you know, from the demigrod. What are you trying to say? You know what the fuck I'm trying to say. One dead, 11 injured at Dallas Field Party. One person is dead, multiple others are injured. 
after a shooting at a concert in southern Dallas on Saturday night. What the fuck? It goes well with the HIPAA. According to the Dallas Police Department, officers responded uh, to a shooting at a trail ride and concert venue in the 5,000 block of Cleveland Road at approximately 12.13 in the morning. Um, here is the, the uh, story. Uh, get, uh, my future. Uh, hi. <laughs> hi. How are you? Who are you? Oh, my goodness. Jesus Christ. Really? You need a 14 to read a teleprompter? What the? She looks like a, literally, where's Ken? Where's the, the fucking dream house? Okay, let, let Blondie, I didn't hear a word she said, but let's do it again. Good. Dallas police are searching for the person who shot and killed a 26-year-old man at a concert in Southeast Oak Cliff. Just after midnight, I'll police responded to the shooting you. call where a man was found near the stage, shot in the head. Eleven others were taken to the hospital injured. One of those injured is in critical condition. Fox 4's David Centendry joins us now with the latest. David, David. what's up? Yeah, a yes, social media Barbie. video shows the moment's gunfire blasts across the crowd. It's difficult to count how many gunshots there are because, well, there are just so they many. They were in Spanish. A concert and trail ride party off Cleveland Road in southern Dallas turning deadly. Oh. Early Sunday morning, a cell phone recording reveals the moments. Dozens of shots appearing to ring out. <laughs> Which again begs a question, can you have more than four black people in a room or anywhere without violence breaking up? I'm, I'm fucking as serious as a heart attack right now. I'm tired. Sorry, clip of John Stewart. You guys know I like, uh, he tries to be fair, except when it comes to race. Again, he grew up in New Jersey and he's just fucking brainwashed. But he's arguing with a guy named Andrew Sullivan, who's a gay right winger and very smart. And of course, John Stewart had two other libs on the panel arguing about racism and and, yeah, and again, he thinks uh, it, it goes back to slavery and blah, 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 blah. What's the shelf life on that shit? And are they the only ones that are poor and oppressed? I mean, at some point, you're going to bring culture into it, John. You know what I mean? And then he get pissed because he goes, enough with the woke shit. He says every time a conservative disagrees with somebody on the left, they bring up woke. Yeah, he goes, can we stop with that? Yeah, right after you stop calling us bigots and racists like you have for the last 50, we finally come up with a phrase that bugs you and you don't want to hear it. <clears throat> and he's usually great, but on race, libs, you're off by a country fuck a mile. That was my op-ed. I'm sorry. Back to the... <clears throat> <laughs> What the fuck? The shots went off, and the whole crowd just dropped on top of each other, like trying to shield everybody, and then everybody started running. At least 12 people shot, at least three of them juveniles. And there was somebody back there dead. Police finding 26-year-old Keelan Gilmore lying dead near the stage. A preliminary police investigation reveals one individual firing a gun into the air, then another firing in the crowd's direction. I just heard a lot of shots, so I just started running. Wow, what's VIP the, pause. Passes. What's the common thread with everybody they're interviewing? That's right, they all drive Subarus. Go ahead. <laughs> Highlight the musical performers. Passes scattered outside the venue, reading "Kids Ten and Under Free." Thousands of people ten reportedly and under. in attendance. You couldn't even move. It was supposed to be everybody come out here and have a good time, but then it didn't come out that way. It came out a different way. Fourteen-year-old Bobo Autry returning yeah, to the scene with go. his older sister, what his hoping future to will find be. his cell phone. He lost it along with a shoe while running away. Did you like find my your shoe? Probably still up there. Police working to find motives and circumstances surrounding the shooting. All right, I think Summit. we get it enough already. How about that little kid? First of all, not even nervous talking to the new. Yeah, it's supposed to go one way, come out like another. What's his future, that kid? If he doesn't have a fucking rap sheet by next year, I'll blow you. Mm -hmm. Gilmore's mother, that was the, the guy who got killed, uh, told NBC5, her son rarely 
attended large gatherings. Yeah, and I bet he, I bet she's right. But said he felt safe because the concert promoted the presence of the Dallas Police Department at the concert. A DB, uh, DPD spokesperson said Sunday, it is looking into whether the department had assigned units looking into. How long does that take? Did we have people there? You don't know. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, so they're looking into whether the department had assigned units at the concert as part of its ongoing investigation. That should take, like I said, one phone call. Um, this is the second shooting of this severity to occur in southern Dallas in the last three weeks, folks. Uh, uh, when they say southern Dallas, I'm, I wonder, you know, just because I know the outskirts. Obama tried that shit where he ruined a bunch of nice, rich, white neighborhoods out of the, and the crime shot through the roof. I talked about it on the show. Um, but anyway, I'm just saying, black people, we don't want to see this. We don't want to, we don't want to see kids getting shot at, a, at an event where your 10 year olds are welcome and shit. I mean, take your beefs elsewhere. And that's creepy, shooting into the air. They got to come back down. And people are, and you know, <laughs> I don't even, uh, yeah, yeah. maybe those are Iranians. They do that every time they have a birthday. or yeah. <laughs> And people get hit with a bullet, right? And they die. And they die. <laughs> hey, it's raining lead. <laughs> That's acid. At least 10 people were injured and one person died uh, on March 19th when someone opened fire outside an event center in Dallas. That was uh, another event that happened there. Um, I wonder, okay, it happened before in the Southern Dale. Were the cops assigned to that one, or can we find that up? <laughs> Another Biden blunder, ladies and gentlemen. This poor prick, I mean, even his wife is cringing now. Uh, you think, and again, nobody's invoking the 25th Amendment. Has anybody even brought it up? I mean, Margaret, uh, Marjorie Taylor may have brought it up, uh, uh, you know, uh, but, but, but shouldn't they be screaming or maybe, here's, here's the other take on that. Republicans, let this guy fucking keep fucking up. Yeah, let him run this radical shit. He's losing and every, he's got shit ratings. Let him burn. President Biden in a speech Saturday <laughs> referred to his wife, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden, as the vice president. He called his wife the vice president in the Obama administration, which is what he was. He served on it for eight years, and you can only, you know, point to senile so many times. Oh, fucking idiot. Yes, that might be by the way. Look at him here. Somebody was doing a, a, a what do you call it, shadow puppets for <laughs> Look, a bunny. The president, 79, was praising the first lady for her commitment to military families and how she oversaw the development of the USS Delaware, the, U the United States Navy's newest nuclear attack submarine, as he spoke at its commissioning set. Is that what we're doing? There's a war going on? We're showing off a new sub? You might want to send it over there? I don't know. It's commissioning ceremony in Will uh, Wilmington, Delaware, on Saturday. Here's Joe, and again, <clears throat> not just the gaffes, but his... He slurs his words like he's on. It always sounds like they just woke him up for a nap and said, read this. Right? He, I mean, he's slurring his words. He's an old, he walks like an old, I mean, he's, well, he's the oldest, isn't he? He's the oldest in history. And, and some people at that age, I mean, look at, uh, I hate to point to an evil, but Fauci, guy's 81 or something, sharp as a tack that you look at. You know, some people fade at 73 or whatever. L listen to Dope. And I'm deeply proud of the work she's doing as First Lady with Joining Forces Initiative. She started with Michelle Obama when she was Vice President Keep your and now carries on. <laughs> as Vice President, she even cringed herself. Does that play anymore or is that the better? That's it? I thought when you showed me, it showed her complete. No? But let's do it. I want to see it again. <laughs> I'm enjoying this so much. Dallas picked up. And I'm deeply proud. Watch the face the Joe makes. doing as first lady. When he calls her vice president. Joining forces initiative. Oh. She started with Michelle Obama when she was vice president and now carries on. 
Poor Jill. Look at the guy behind him. <laughs> a fucking asshole. This is my commander in chief. Shaka dick and die. Henry. You know you're a fucking mumbling, stuttering little fuck. You know that? <laughs> Oh my God, he called her the vice president. The mix up was among, as we know, a series of snafus Biden has blundered into recently, including comments the president made in Poland that appeared to condone the idea of regime change to oust Vladimir Putin because of the invasion into Ukraine. The gaffes have led some Republican lawmakers to suggest that Biden isn't up to the rigors of the presidency, no kidding. All right, get out. <laughs> yeah, uh, why aren't they having a hearing or, I don't know, fucking break into American Idol? <laughs> I mean, there's a few of them, again, but like I said, he's fucking up so bad. <laughs> but who would they put in? Oh. I mean, who would they? What? Isn't it hilarious that, like, what's her name, fuckface? Uh, Harris? Yes, yeah. wouldn't even be considered. She's such an embarrassment. Or maybe she would. I don't know. How hilarious. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because their policy and all this shit, that's done by committee. That's done by the radicals, the squad, oh, Bernie, all those other shitheads. And they just hand, and these guys are, Joe's just a, a, a vessel to get that shit out. Rep J Ronnie Jackson, former wide receiver, University of Miami. Oh, no, wait, he's a white fella. Uh, Republican Texas, he served as the White House physician during Trump's administration, called on the president to step down and fall into a fucking well. Now, he told him, he said, step down, quote, Biden isn't running the country. Exactly. He's, a, he's lost and confused. He's totally out of the loop. And when he opens his mouth, he's constantly corrected by his staff. He needs to resign, Jackson posted on Twitter. He also went on to say, we deserve a cognitively capable president, he continued. Yeah, why did Trump have to take a fucking test? Remember, lamp, dog, piano, whatever the fuck. <laughs> he should have played dumb. Trump did it, got it right, but he should have came out and went, uh, dildo, uh, asshole, peanut butter. I don't know, I said dildo. It was supposed to be house. What kind of test is this? Jackson was among a host of GOP lawmen. Oh, were they? A host of them? What's a host? Is that like a gaggle of geese or a fucking herd of turtles? Murder of crows. Yeah, exactly. Host of GOP lawmakers who sent a letter to the White House in February asking the president to submit to a cognitive test. We urge, here's the letter, you to submit to a cognitive test immediately. We want you to get on a dirt bike and jump three buses. We implore you to then publish the test results so the American people know what a fuck face you really are. No, know the full mental and intellectual health of their president and to follow the example set before you, the letter said, like the other president. Yeah, I don't, you're not making enough noise, Republicans. Not that it matters. We know Democrats don't play by the rules. They don't get arrested. It really does make you wonder, though. I mean, he's, he, the borders are wide open, folks. I saw some reports over the weekend. You're not going to recognize this country in a year. And, and it's going to kick up. It's going to kick up when it gets warm out like it always does. The, the numbers are fucking astronomical. They just pour it in. Uh, anyways. And what are we concentrating on? Transgenderism and that type of poo-poo. What's the headline for the next one? Money for nothing and your dicks for free. <laughs> I am so clever, aren't I? That's the way you do it. You play the guitar on the MTV. A California city, get this. This one, Dallas sent me. This sent me through the fucking, I'm spinning. Hello, I'm like Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I, I wrote the fucking bill. Yeah, cocksucker. We should pay teachers like professional ball players. A California city is hoping to launch a pilot program that will guarantee a monthly income of 900 bucks to transgender and non-binary residents. What? Fucking quiz! Take it easy. What? 900 bucks for how you were born. 
or right? How you weren't born. <laughs> what? Or how you weren't born. Or how you weren't born. Well put. Nine hundred dollars. You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna spend it on a, uh, a penis. They'll sew it onto their chest and <laughs> buy a nice vagina for yourself. Nine hundred bucks. Do you ever see them down at Home Depot? They got them right next to the washers and dry. A lot of snatch. <laughs> right next to the fake barbell. This fake pussy. Uh, Nine hundred bucks for being. Is it non-binary? You just saying I don't have sex with either? Yep. Well, sign me up. <laughs> I'm fucking married. I ain't exactly banging another part. I'm not going to fuck a guy yet. The City Council of Palm Springs, Palm, okay, California, unanimously passed a bill on March 24th to provide 200 grand to DAP Health in Queer Works. You think we've reached a saturation point when you have an organization called Queer Works? Queer Works. Queer Works for about five minutes and then they go fuck each other. Palm Springs, queer works to design the program and apply for state funding. Why? Why should you get $900? Because we're invisible. We're marginal. What does that mean? What does that mean? Have you been buying? How you been living to this point? You've been buying shit? You buy food, clothing, pay your rent? You do. So what's this for? It's the beginning of communism. Not socialism. Fucking, they'll, folks, I'm glad... I, I've been saying this forever. Was there a bug in here? No, skipping right over socialism and going right here. Oh, I thought, I thought something flew by your face. You went like this. Yeah, let's jump right into... They, they, that's what, folks, that's the end goal. We all live on a paltry 40 grand a year while the elites who run the world, you know, live like they do now. That's the goal. And this is... You can't do it. You've got to do it incrementally. You don't do it overnight. We hope that the pilot we design will inspire the city of Palm Springs to join together with the DAP uh, Health and other funders to bring significant state funding to Palm Springs, said David Brinkman, CEO of DAP Health. Oh, look at Dave. Looks like he's hosting the fucking <laughs> Tonys. <laughs> and the winner is the mouse that roared. Yay, Nathan Lane, best actor. Yes. Our goal is to develop a model that impacts the greatest number of individuals. You mean all 12 transgender people, you shit stone? The greatest number of individuals possible. We hope our pilot will help confirm that, uh, that guaranteed income is a cost-effective way to create positive outcome. It's just the opposite of that, you evil. Ugh. Who said that? He did. Who the fuck said Mr. Brinkman, the big girl. The slimy little commoner shit twinkle toad cocksucker down here who just signed his own death war. Mr. Brinkman. <laughs> <laughs> the pilot program would distribute funding to at least 20 participants each month, likely totaling somewhere between 600 and 900 bucks. Local individuals who are transgender and non-binary will be prioritized. And there they go. Is Dave and Bill celebrating... I don't know what. They're going to buy a fuck swing and put it, put it in a sauna. Non-binary prioritize the program, which is expected to last for 18 months. Please give me a call. Okay, that's coming right after the cash. This, this looks like a guy picking up a male prostitute. There will be a six-month design uh, period before the pilot program launches. Why? Just get it out there. A guaranteed income is a policy that ensures... I can't believe I'm reading this in the United States of America that ensures individuals will receive a certain earning without any strings attached. You mean like work? Are those the strings you talk? Like a job? Do you fucking believe this? I, 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 it's gone from me victimhood now to, hey, you owe us. What's this, gay reparations? <laughs> May is for a guaranteed income. That's a, an actual organization. Will help provide guidance to the city for the design of the pilot program. California currently allocates 35 mil in funding for guaranteed income pilot program. 35 mil! Boy, they're doing that quietly. California is, is reaching its goal of communism <clears throat> and is expected to finalize its criteria for applications over the coming months, according to DAP Health. About half of the funding for the final program will likely come from the state. And the other half will come from donors who should be um, doxxed at a minimum and then just take it out and no, no, They no, like no, that. No, 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 no.
no, 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 no. The city has population of about 45,000 people. And a poverty rate of about 16%. And you're blaming that on what? <laughs> Above the national average of 11.4% per the census. In general, transgender adults are twice as likely to be unemployed. So re reward them because they're lazy. What do you tell me? People won't hire a he, she? Bullshit. They wait on me everywhere I go. Come on, California, catch up. As, you know how many times I've been served by somebody the last two years, the waiter or waitress? And I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just keep your prick out of my BLT. <laughs> I don't care. Just don't sing happy birthday to me. My wife, for, we're in San Francisco for fucking 25 years ago. It was my birthday, and I'm at a diner. And all of a sudden, they all came out, and I looked at my wife, who I, she wasn't my wife yet, she was my girlfriend. I go, you ever fucking do that again? I will fucking strangle you right here. All the gay waiters like, what's the matter with him? Uh, as likely to be unemployed as cisgender adults, according to McKinsey and company. People who are trans and non-binary are highly marginalized in our system. No, we, no, same language, same language, the blacks, browns, same, same, it's the same playbook, civil rights, but nobody pays it to marginalize. How so? <coughs> How so? in our society in general. If you're saying marginalized, if you mean by they get beat up like in New York City on a Saturday night, by usually by black and brown men traveling and who hit, yeah, that's marginalized. Other than that, shut the fuck up. Our society in general, especially economically, they're marginalized. Oh, poor you. Dallas, stop hitting <laughs> <laughs> La, 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 ba -da -da -da. Oh, Paul. Paul, true or false, studies at the University of Wisconsin show that you'll probably live longer if you love only one man or woman at a time. But it is all right to alternate. <laughs> <laughs> My boy. Funniest, one of the funniest guys ever. I don't care. Gay, straight. That guy was fucking funny, man. Oh, why? I don't know. <laughs> I gotta tell it again. Fred Travelina, the shitty impressions, but he had a great bit. <laughs> um, if you're familiar with The Godfather. He, and he's doing like Marlon Moran, he's doing Vito. Uh, Sonny's in the business, uh, Tom McConsigliere. And he's got, uh, he, he, <laughs> he has Paul Lynn playing Fredo. Uh, Fredo, how come you're not interested in the business? Oh, I don't know. I guess I'm just different. <laughs> Ah, uh, not so Shannon Sharp is the headline. Uh, this guy, great, great tight end. Probably on the Hall of Fame, right? I think he's in there. I mean, hell of a football player. But, but again, dumb as a bag of rocks, has a thick tongue. You know who told me that? Keith Robinson, a black friend of mine. Can I say that? Um, when he said thick tongue, I almost shit my pants. He goes, you never heard that before? I go, uh, anyway, Shannon Sharp, and, 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 look, he's not a bad guy, but... He gets $3 million a year to talk about the NFL, even when it's not being played. He has fake arguments with Skip Bayless. You know what I mean? Seriously, that's all that is. They pretend to fight, and as soon as they go cut, they go have lunch and laugh their balls off while you people go, I think he's right in me. Former NFL great, current uh, Fox Sports 1 analyst Shannon Sharp found himself playing defense this weekend after saying that he would rather pay 20 bucks a gallon than have Trump in office is what he said. What you just said yeah. <clears throat> is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. May God have mercy on your soul. Da -da 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 -da. My tongue is thick. The trouble started for Sharp after he posted a tweet jokingly asking if anyone knew any gas station owners who were hiring. The tweet also showed $118. He took a picture of the pump, which I did. Now I know I'm fucking dumb. Uh, 118 bucks to fill up his car. Anyone, he tweeted, anyone knows someone hiring that owns a gas station, you get a discount if you work at an establishment. Shop wrote, oh, he's a funny prick, on, on Saturday. Do people still siphon off gas? It was a thing when I was growing up. 
Yeah, in the hood. <laughs> what is he going to do? Fucking put a hose in it? However, when a Twitter follower asked Sharp whether his dismay at paying Joe Biden's gas prices made him long for the days of Trump, Sharp posted this tone-deaf and elitist response. I'd rather pay 20 bucks a gallon than have Trump in office, Sharp wrote. Hope the answer, I hope that answers your question, he said, <clears throat> which tells you a lot about, he bought into that whole thing that Trump was a racist and ba 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 Kill your white people! <laughs> what was that? Kill your white people! <laughs> Kill your white people! It's a catchy tone, isn't it, in the hood? Sharp, who has a reported net worth of $14 million, drew instant and justified backlash from a slew of Twitter followers. Here's a few of the uh, replies, but somebody gave him advice right after that. Never tell anybody outside the family what you're thinking again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's one. This is from CJ at the CJ Pearson. Uh, uh, he says, Shannon Sharp makes $3 million a year, but he wants you and I to suffer because Donald Trump hurt his feelings. Clown. Well put, Mr. Pearson. Then we got Fusili. Uh, <laughs> Fusili Spock. That's funny. I don't know. At All Star 11. I hate poor people, meaning that's what Shannon said. And then Nicky Cer at yes, Nick Searcy. This is what rich ass kicking leftists like Shannon Sharp are really like. They don't give a damn about working people. I'd say those are all uh, right on the money. Again, I don't fucking, you know, I'm not a bad guy, but, but you know, I, I, I'm sorry. Take a famous white person. God damn it, reverse the rate. Will you remind me of these segments I have? I can't fucking, I came up with them. I don't want to use them. Um, Reverse the rate. I mean, can you picture a white ball player, a football player saying that about like Obama, whatever, you know? I hate to point out those easy double standard folks, but I'm sorry. Uh, you got to be reminded. You know, Shannon just don't like Whitey, that's all. But that's all right. Nobody's crazy over his group either. I'm not there. All right. Let's move on to some more anti whiteness. Pissing on the flag. South Carolina, uh, girls basketball. Oh, by the way, uh, South Carolina beat Connecticut in the women's national champ. Boy, do I laugh my guts off when they fuck it. I can't wait to, remember last year you weren't here. I think Raz was, they showed a picture of the WNBA championship parade. <laughs> it's like a fucking, you know, like a float going down with all the girls on it. You look at the sidewalks, people are going about their day, walking their dog, getting the <laughs> And they complain, and they're still complaining. They don't get paid. There's even commercials now during a women's basketball. You see some woman, they have one where a woman hits a winning shot, but you didn't probably didn't see it because they're only on the air 10%. It's they, they don't get how the free, sit, free market works. South Carolina's Dawn Staley, I was digressing, she's the coach, has the Gamecocks on the precipice. By the way, this is written before they won. They beat Connecticut. Look, you can tell she loves America. An uh, angry black lesbian. Why would she... On the press, even though she's... Look at she's famous. Precipice of a woman's basketball, and blah, blah, she, they beat Connecticut. Uh, she was catching flack Friday for Friday night's game. The Gamecocks were not on the court for the national anthem because their coach is an angry black lesbian who hates everything about this country and should really get out and leave if you're that unhappy. You know? I, it's, a, it's an old cliche, but love it or leave it. I can't think of a better way to fucking put it. Love it, leave it with you, lick it. Look at those fucking glasses. What, are you going to weld later on? Anyways, they weren't on the court for the National League before the tip-off against Louisville. Everybody's searching around for them. No way to be Hello? found. Hello? 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 Yeah, we're all in here, dingling each other. <laughs> Cardinals players, that would be Louisville, they stood at one side of the court with their arms intertwined. Staley's team has stayed in the locker room during the anthem or protested in some form since the middle of 2021, you know, right after George Floyd. College basketballs, they, that's, they, they do it almost every time. These players. I know you it. You know it's really going to take the wrong way. And you know damn well, I'll go on. Oh, go on. <laughs> she told 
and scape at the time that players were sitting during the national anthem in almost every game that season to bring awareness to racial injustice, which is that fake religion they came up after George Floyd, a guy who held a gun to a pregnant woman's stomach and did black porn and sold drugs. You know that guy, that fucking great guy. Uh, awareness to racial injustice in our country, she said, and I said, You need to shut the fuck up. Always angry. Always, always angry. She's doing great. She's the head of a basketball, a college basketball. Let it go. Who's the guy on the right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. If opposing teams choose to play the anthem during the time we're in the locker room, look, she puts it on somebody else, in the locker room, then we choose to stay in the locker room, she said. Oh, God, I hate her. My vagina's angry. It is. It's pissed off. Yes, it is. See, she says if they decide to, there's, there's rules when you have to be out on the court. I gotta believe. But who's gonna, who's gonna correct a black woman, gay black woman, in you know part of a college system? Who's gonna say, hey, nobody? It's why we are where we are. It's why the NBA. You, know, you watch them. Some guys have their shirts untucked. Other people are wearing different sh NFL. They can't. The white establishment, whether it's Roger Goodell, they don't have the balls. You remember, you do, Dallas. You're old enough. Remember, you had to, in NFL, remember you had, you had to have your socks up and you, that's too white, man. That takes discipline. And Staley added, I love our country, too. No, you don't. I don't like what our country has come to. Well, that's your fault. This is called progress. Or what our country has been. So you don't like what it is. You don't like what it's been. Um... But I'd like to think that there are people in our country that's going to lead us more in a unified way. Who are you talking about? We had one, then a divisive way. She sees Trump as divisive and shithead, who's the most divisive, you can argue the most divisive president ever. And I'm here for that, she says. Some Cardinal players were wearing, listen to this, Adidas branded t-shirts with a message on the back, here's the message. No person in the United States shall, on the basis of sex, be excluded from participation in, be denied the benefits, or be subjected to discrimination under any education program or activity receiving federal financial assistance. I have that tattooed on my cock. <laughs> I can only read the first word in it again. Uh, so really, so nobody uh, should be I agree. So how about when Biden came out and said, I only want a female black Supreme Court nominee? Does that fit under discrimination or is that only for you? You clam lapper. You're entitled to shit. Exactly. Thank you, Tony. That's the show, folks. I thought it was terrific for a Monday. I mean, I thought it was terrific. I'm going to submit this one to the Weather Channel. I think they'll... <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> La, 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 la. Uh, Tarzan was one of our earliest swingers. Did he ever actually marry Jane? Well, if he didn't, you know what that makes boy. <laughs> uh. What is it that writes and having writ moves on? A meter maid. <laughs> <laughs> Great joke. You don't get that shit anymore. Great joke. Uh, folks, remember to sign up monthly, please, to comicsgym.com. I got a bunch of people that saw me in Fort Worth, some new ones. Shouldn't say a bunch. Okay, a gaggle. Uh, the Comics Gym and Patreon.com. And can you sign up at nickdip.com? I gotta believe you can. I don't know. But if you can't, you can shop there and watch the archive shows or whatever. Uh, and cameo.com. Did two this weekend, got one waiting for me now. Cameo.com, if you want me to roast a friend or relative if they're having a birth, even if they're not having a birthday, somebody that likes me as a comedian, it's a nice gift. You know what I mean? It's a beautiful thing. That's it. You guys think that I'll say it, you're very welcome. See you back here uh, same time tomorrow. Have a good day.